So we're halfway through the year here at AF Golf Store and we are about to talk to our lead fitter and PGA professional Mark Sturgis here at our Kingsway store when he is going to tell us and talk to us about his best three drivers so far in 2023. Mark, it's been a busy year for Woods, a lot of clubs released. Uh, yeah, very busy. Um, everyone's looking for that extra yardage with their driver and there's so much choice on the market. Companies are offering uh, obviously newer models, there's so many shaft options um, and we've seen our fitting page just get booked after book after book and people are, are investing. Yeah, mainly in the big stick because they want to hit it first. Yeah. It's the fun the, part of the game, right? The driver is the, the fun part yeah. of the game. Everyone wants to get that extra 10, 15 yards. So, um, and, and manufacturers are spending millions and billions on R&D research and design every year to, to get that bit extra out of every golf club. So last year, so apart from Titleist who released TSR last year, yep. la late part of last year, everyone else, every other manufacturer has released this year. Yes. So what's your top three? Top three, uh, I've got them laid out here. These are the winners when we're fitting. Okay. Um, we have got the TaylorMade Stealth, um, Stealth 2. It's an advance on last year's Stealth. Um, great driver. They've put more carbon in it. There's only a thin strip of titanium in now. Okay. Um, what they've done is they've used their tagline, Forgiveness. Um, so they've made the Stealth. They're not necessarily saying it's longer, but they are saying it's more forgiving than the last Stealth. Okay. Because the last Stealth had criticism that it was good, but it wasn't forgiving. On so off-centre strikes? On off-centre okay. strikes, yeah, if you got one slightly out the toe of the heel, you saw a little bit more dispersion, but now they're, um, they've made a driver that really does work, and you have it in the different models. So for instance, we've got the plus here, so we can move the weight to fade draw. Um, it's a slightly lower spinning head, or it's their lower spinning head version of the normal head, and then you have the HD head, which is someone who, who slices the ball. And so the, more draw bias. Yeah, it's more draw bias, yeah. HD, and the weight and the heel. Um, so again, catering for every golfer there. Okay, so Stealth 2 makes the top three. I won't get you to put these in order just yet. Yeah. Right, one, two, three, but I am going to make you do that later. So, okay. So driver number two, which one else has made the top three? Uh, as normal, ping. As normal? Uh, well, ping, ping fan, are you? No, I just... <laughs> I just I, 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 Fitting wise, yes. it gives me everything I need to fit. Solid with. product. It's a great product. They do three heads again. They do SFT, straight uh, flight technology, um, which is again draw biased. They do the max head, which is the normal uh, sort of standard head with a movable uh, uh, weight here again for draw fade bias. Um, they do the LST, uh, the low spin head. Which is one that's become more popular. It has, yeah, and this year, um, for the first time, at Ping have you carbon. They put a carbon crown on the LST, mm. which is they've they've um, Ping have always been um, sort of not change a lot, but they do when they do change, it makes differences. And the LST, they've got the weight a little bit more forward. The crown, the top of the club is lighter. So again, when I've got three heads to fit with, for the guy that the other day I did a fit in, a guy was slicing his ball quite badly. Um, we had an LST head to take the spin down and we put the weight in draw and You're bang, off and bang. He, okay. he, 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 he said, right, that's the one, bang, ordered. Easy. Go so I think what's interesting for me with, with Ping is that quite often you don't, for the strong player or the better player, they kind of are not always attracted to a Ping product. LST this year has allowed that stronger player to kind of have a go and actually enjoy hitting the product. Yeah, I think if from a, from a, a customer's point of view, Ping isn't also as sexy as TaylorMade or if you look at the graphics. Don't spend I mean, that much might be a bit harsh on yeah, Ping, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you look at TaylorMade and that's, you know. It's flash. That's flash. You look yeah. at the paradigm, which we'll go on to in a minute, that's flash. Ping is sort of like, you know what you're getting. So what's mm. on the tin mm. is what you're getting. Okay, so two, Ping. Third one, you mentioned it, Paradigm. Yeah, uh, Callaway Paradigm. So we've got in the Paradigm, Again, they do um, the different models. Now, where this changes a little bit mm -hmm. is the Paradigm, which we've got Paradigm X, which is the easy one to hit. You then draw got, bias. You draw, well, yeah, draw bias, and there's more center of gravity back. It's very much easy to get airborne. Pop it up. Pop it up in the air. The normal Paradigm, which has the sliding weight at the back, yeah. which Callaway always... So I think said, I've got that one in my you hand have, here. Yeah. So that's so, the, the sliding weight at the back there. Yep. So again, with what Callaway have offered this year, more than they've ever offered, is the movable weight 
to get and also they've got the sleeve adjustments so before they've only ever had the sleeve adjustments so this makes a big difference yes where it changes is the triple diamond head is one of the lowest spin heads when we fit okay. this head does not spin at all so someone the harder hitter the guy who really goes after it um, when we're fitting this, you can see that the CG weights right forward. Okay, so that compared to that one there, I don't know if Chris, if you can pop in on the camera there, you can see that the, the standard head hasn't got a weight at the front here, but the, the triple diamond where Mark's finger is there, he's got the weight right at the front. So that's the, the bit that's helping the weight, so the, uh, more, sorry, the spin come the down. The more you put the CG forward, it takes the spin down. Okay. Only downfall to that is it's not as forgiving for dispersion, okay. so, because the more we move the weight back, uh, the CG, it helps obviously get the ball up. To, and all of a sudden we move it forward, it's, it's a little bit um, made it the better player, the harder hit, yeah? Okay. Whereas you, we can still fit into the ping of the tailor made into the lower spin head. The guy who's off the 10, 12 handicap, who's, who wants, he's got that cut and we need to get the spin down. Have, you noticed, that, done, have you noticed that with Triple Diamond? Sorry, have you noticed that with Triple Diamond that actually it's not as forgiving as the other two paradigm heads. When I'm When I'm looking at numbers and I'm talking to the, uh, the guy I'm fitting or the lady I'm fitting, we say, look, you know, your spin rate is this. This is my plan to get that down. We, we go through the heads because we need to, when we're fitting, we need to just see which, what head does what with the customer. And I found that with this one, if you don't get it right, when we get one right, they go, wow, it's gone a yeah. long way. When we yeah. don't get one right, they go, oh, you know, there's a big drop off. Yeah, and because okay. it's slightly out of the toe of the heel is not as forgiving. So you've, I'm going to get you to rank these. I said that a minute ago. We're going to get you to rank these, but you've built two of the drivers up for me. Yeah. Um, you've got me in LST. You know I like a hook, so you've put it in fade bias, and you've put me in the Kylie shaft. So That's right. I'm going to have a hit with these. Okay. Let's see what the numbers I'm are. Have a go with ping first. Um, you're playing Stealth Two this yeah, year. Yeah, I get out with my Stealth Two. I love okay. it. Absolutely love it. So. Let's see what the feedback, well, I mean, what's the feedback? Let me have a couple of hits with this. So what's the feedback that you've seen or heard or, or, or taken from, from customers when they've hit this pin? I mean, I'll just take that, thanks. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty good. A bit low on the launch, but uh, obviously we'd, we'd tailor I mean, that, that yeah. to try and suit yourself. But the, the thing about the pin, what we've heard is, uh, again, the feel and the sound off the face is always a little bit different. You get different sound with the carbon heads. Yeah, that, so, that felt to me very, even though I hit it off the bottom of the face, yeah. it felt solid. Yeah. It didn't feel like I'm, I'm searching for a sound. And I'm, personally, I'm a player that likes, I have to have a certain sound off the driver. Yeah. I have to have a certain well, feedback off well, the driver. They always say that sound is feel because you actually go by how it sounds and, and then responds back to how you feel it, it feels, it impacts. Okay, let's hit one more with this. So I've done the opposite there, hit it right out the toe, right off the, I mean, maybe yeah. a few lessons, Mark, rather than a driver, but I think, well, a bit of both, really. A bit of both, a bit of both. One more, I'm gonna so hit one more with yeah, then yeah, I wanna hit your stealth too. I wanna hit your, this one that you've gone with this year. I'm getting old, Mark. I know, well, that's it, hits is all. I've had to go down a couple of flexes in shaft myself. Getting slow so, and getting old. Uh, so, where that, is, I... that is why, when we're looking at drivers, we are looking at getting the most out of everybody. Yeah? So, so, I've walked in and I've just hit, so let's assume that that was my driver. Yeah. You've seen my numbers there. What are you going to give me now in terms of shaft and headset? Well, I'm looking at your, your club head speed, your ball speed, and then one of the major things we're looking at. It's obviously a combination of the, the launch and the spin to get the optimum number. Now, you're launching them quite low. So yeah, a couple I, off the bottom. Yeah, but I would say I would go up a little bit more loft. Your spin rate's good, but we've got to be careful when we go up loft, we increase spin. Okay. So we will then be looking at a different shaft to maybe put in to get the spin down. So yeah. on, on this one, you have me uh, up at nine with the big minus. So yes. it's eight, eight-ish of degrees. Yeah, it's kind so of we'll quite low. go up loft on that first. Obviously, if we add a little bit of loft, we'll look at your spin rate, your shape as well, because when you add loft to a club, you will make the club more upright, which will make the club, the toe just turn in a little bit as well. So that will take spin down a little bit. So, you know, custom fitting to a point is, a, is an art of finding 
all the right numbers, yeah? And that's what, um, when people come in here, what they're amazed with, when we see them with their driver, and we say, right, this is your figures, what we've got to do is we've got to do, get your spin down, we've got to get your launch up, and explain it, and they're, they're sort I think of like, that's the, I think that's the bit though, isn't it? Because, I mean, we, we, we're golf pros, so we know the numbers, and we look at the numbers, and we're used to them, but, I think the frustration sometimes when I, I see customers come in, I think that there's a lot of numbers and you've on track now here, you've kind of highlighted just a few numbers, but, yeah. but if you're not explaining what you're trying to achieve yeah. to someone who's hitting, yeah. it doesn't make sense. It's very difficult to say, so well, why, why are you putting that loft on? Because and that's why when I fit, I explain, and, 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 and this sounds really big headed, but I have a lot of customers that come to get fitted for me because I keep the fitting simple. I explain, yeah. look, it needs a, to be simple. A, your launch is too high, so you hit it too high. B, your spin's too much. And then you show them the numbers and say, because of A and B, this is C, yeah? yeah? Let's just go and see if we can get these down. Then they look at the, the numbers and they see the distances, yeah. then they understand. Also, yeah. a great thing with Trackman is the dispersion circles. Okay. When we're on here, and you look at, you've got the numbers and you've got the dispersion circles. So I can also say, you're not only just hitting that longer, you're hitting it straighter. Yeah. And the reason being is, we've also got the spin down because your left to right spin has been taken down. Do you, do you think, I mean, you, you talked a lot about spin there. Do you think that's the one thing that, that, that the average golfer that you see doesn't control well enough because with, with driver? With the driver, because the, where spin is imparted is angle of attack, how the club attacks the ball, yeah. and also path and yeah. face angle, yeah? yeah? So you know as well sure as I do, lot, you, yeah. you, you've taught a lot in the past, how many golfers slice their driver? I would say 70%, yeah? Mm. Most lessons I get when they come in, I've never met them, hi, you know, what can we do for you? Oh, I like to get my driving better. Mm. You get them on the, the track man in our lessons and you, and you explain. And you know, that's another good thing. When you sort of explain, and then you also say, they say, well, I'm still not getting the most out of my driver. And I say, well, it's not set up correctly, yeah? yeah. And that's where the fitting is. Why would you now go and buy a, a club for 500 pound off the shelf and just go, yeah, I love that one, and not come in here when we offer this free service? Because this free service, and not everyone offers that, is, is worth its weight in gold. The, the well, fittings we offer, uh, we offer an hour fitting for a driver, you would go to places and pay 60, 70 pounds. But, but I think that's, yeah, I, yeah, I get that. I think the, the, the bit that I'm, I think that's more valuable is, is the people like you and Matt and John at Milton Keynes and, and Ollie and Jason and all these great fitters who are really passionate. I mean, you've just talked there for 10, 15 minutes about spin and, and the driver, right? You, you, your knowledge is, is next level and we want to give that away to golfers because it helps golfers play golf at the end of the day. Well, that's, that's AF Golf's reputation, isn't it? So what are we going Coach, for? fit and play. We basically, uh, we're going to the Stealth 2 now. So hang on, hang on, hang on. You've got me in fade bias in the way. Is that got, because you've just seen me hit it left? Uh, no, I've just <laughs> got you in fade bias in, in the way, just watching you. But just, just looking at in fact, what I'll do is I'll set it to neutral to start with. Okay. Yeah. Because we would always start, if I was fitting with you, once I've seen you hit your own driver, got some numbers, I would look at what kind of head I'd put there, what kind of shaft for your swing speed, mm -hmm. and what we call... So what was my, I'm, I'm club head speed's 109, so yeah. where have you got? You're, you're on X there. I'm on X, okay. Yeah, well, you probably used to be a bit quicker than that, I would I think. used yeah. to be, yeah. Maybe yeah. I haven't warmed so up. So I've given you a, a 70X there okay. in the Carly, and okay. I've given you a bit more loft on this one, but it's a Stealth Plus, 10 and a half, yeah? Yep. That's really low. And you're giving me more loft? Giving you a little bit, a little bit more loft. Um, you're swinging, obviously your swing path there, you're swinging a little bit sort of out to him. Um, your attack angle's only 1.8 up on the ball. If I was giving you a bit of advice, I might even go with a slightly higher tee and pop the ball further forward in your stance, yeah? Okay. What you will find popping the ball further forward in your stance, it will help you hit it up a little bit more. Should we have a go with that? Yeah. I think I just can't find the middle mark. I think that's okay. good me. That was okay. So, okay, so that was stealth. That definitely felt different. I mean, we're looking at um, ball speed and, again, look, I mean, you're carrying 253. Spin rate's great in the right numbers, too. That was, that, that felt, to me, 
You know, we're talking about the best three drivers so far. Still two there just felt really flat off the face. Yeah. As a player, that's, and it's, and it's really personal preference this, but that's not something I'm gonna feel comfortable with on the golf course. So, and that's I'm, we, I'm not sure that'd be in my top three. Okay, when we do part of fitting, yeah, what we do look at as well is, I ask opinions of people because I say to them, you've got to like the look of it, you've got to like the sound and yeah, the feel, yeah. yeah? Because I don't want someone walking out of here and saying, oh, I've got to drive, I don't like the sound, I don't like the feel. You yeah? can, they can get it 500 could, miles, but Exactly, you need to find something that works and that they like, yeah? Okay, so last driver out of your top three, yeah. and you've got to get your thinking cap on now because you've got to put these in order. Okay. Okay, so Paradigm. Uh, personally, I think this is probably the best looking driver this year. Yeah. You know, for me, how the ball, uh, how the club sits and frames the golf ball is quite important. Yeah. I'm not a fussy golfer, if that makes sense. Yeah. So I like a standard head, not a lot going on, the colour. And I'm, for me, the tur I think they call them turbulators on the top here. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, very, it just puts me off the ping. Um, so this is, I really like the way this sits. So let's see if we can actually get one that goes a little bit further. There we go. That Stop. sounded better, didn't it? Good huh? launch. 11 degree launch. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. There's so the one. We've gone 273 carry, yeah? Put now, it in the bunker. Look at what's happened to your ball speed. It's gone 165 here. From where? Where was I with the stealth? Uh, with, the with the stealth, we were 155. We've gone nine miles an hour more. That's, that's giving you the distance, yeah? That might but be because I hit it out the middle, but... I'll be, I'll be honest, we could probably get you a bit more because the spin's gone up to 3,000. So where I look to get that down to about two and a half, that could get us that 300 yards again that you used to get. <laughs> <laughs> and you would do that through the loft or the head? Because you've given me the standard head here. I'd do it for a couple of ones. It could be, it could be um, going to the triple diamond head. Yeah. It could be um, looking at the shaft. I mean, to be fair, I've got the hazardous low spin shaft in there. Um, the launch was good, 12 degrees. So yeah, maybe looking at taking the loft down a little bit, although I like that launch angle. So it could be changing the head to triple diamond, and then got the spin down to type two, three, two, four. That could be a, with that shaft as well, that could be a winner. Okay, so let's hit another one. Sounds nice. I mean, that has gone miles. Sounds nice, yeah. I mean, I've hooked it. Absolutely miles left, but so your ball, speed, ball speed was a little bit down on that one. Oh, no, it wasn't 162. Look, ball speed's up 293. Okay, and again, 27 so, spin. If I could get that down, so my aim now, if I was fitting you, would be to get that down to about two and a half, maybe two four with that 13 launch. And we're looking at big numbers again. Now, look at the distance 293. Yeah. Unbelievable. You know, so, and, and you've only hit a few balls to warm up. You're still getting warmed up. So that for me, that for me, Paradigm is number one by a country mile. Yeah. Okay. What's your, how are you putting these in order? Um, it's been a very difficult one to put them in order because when I'm fitting, yeah. um, I'm going right. to sit on the fence a little bit. Okay. I am going to put them in order, okay. but I'm going to put them in order of how I would look at categories of golfers and where penguins it covers a wider option of golfers okay okay like where stealth wins it gets that golfer who wants that flashy look um you know it look at it it says everything about it i'm stealth too i'm tailor made yeah that wins in that area paradigm wins in Basically, what we've just seen, ball speed. I'm not going to lie, ball speed on the paradigm has been good on the on the on the launch monitor. Now, that's not everybody because the people are individuals. So that's why I don't like to categorise. I know you said put them you in one, two, three. three. So you, you see, I think they're sitting all, on the fence a little bit. I think they're all winners. Okay, they're because, all winners. Well, because if you came in and you said to me, I don't know what driver I want. These would be the three I pull out, okay. and then obviously I would work around what you like best. So you like Paradigm. For me, I like my Stealth too. I think it's the best driver I've had for a long time. In fact, I went to play golf in France last week. Some of the guys who uh, 
and, and they said I hit the ball great off the tee and I did. I hit every fairway nearly and I hit it pretty good. So, and then you've got the guy with a ping who I can fit anyone with that. If someone comes in, I, I will guarantee that I will beat the numbers on their current driver. So they're all winners in their own way. Okay, so there we go. Mark's not going to go. So I'm, he's I'm not getting, splinters. He's not going to. He is not going to give us a one, two, three definitive. But there we go, guys. Mark's top three drivers for this year: Paradigm, Stealth Two, and the Ping G430.